Oh, Jan wants to play. Okay, let's play Jan. Let's play Jan at Blitz. He's willing to play. Let's rumble. So I'll play Jan four games. Bullet with Jan, but Jan doesn't really play Bullet, and I don't really want to play Bullet with him either, honestly. Plays 94. Um, I think Bishop E7 is correct. Now I can play Bishop F5 here, I think. Because 90, 95, I just take the knight. What? Oh, wait. Oh, it's just... Oh, I need the bishop on c8. Oh, I'm blind. Oh, I'm blind. I'm complete. I have bishop supposed to be on c8. That's just a blunder. Oh. Uh. Yeah, that's just a blunder. The bishop's supposed to be on c8, not f5. Too much bullet, and I just throw an 11 at the very start. Yeah, I mean, the bishop's supposed to be on c8, of course. Um, okay, I'm just going to have to make the best of a bad situation. No, because with the bishop on c8, it is free, but the bishop cuts off the queen from the fifth rank. That's why this is a mistake. Yeah, I'm just down a pawn here. This is not good. Okay, so I'm going to try to draw this. Let's see if I can bail out and make a draw here. It's yeah, Bishop was supposed to be on C8, not F5. Soy Capitan. Ba, ba, bamba. Ba, ba, bamba. If rookie won, I can just take and take. I'm moving too fast, by the way. Moving too fast here. I need to slow it down. I'm moving way too fast. Play c3. Okay, so I think I should play queen e7 just to cut off the e file. Yeah, and now I'll play h4. He probably should play h. He doesn't. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm willing to give him a second pawn if he wants to take it. So he takes, I go queen f6, queen g6, and there are issues. Okay, but now I can play queen e4. No, it's not I need to move faster. I need to uh, slow down. I'm moving like this is bullet still. Ba, ba, bamba. Ba ba bum ba. Now I can play b5. I don't need to really do much of anything. Bishop e6 is the move that I want to play. Queen f3. He's got queen d1. So I think I'm just going to play bishop g4. Why not? Okay, I'm just going to play bishop f5. He can play b5 if he wants to. Wait, what? There's no way I'm giving him a draw here because his king is awful. I'm going to play rook f6. Maybe rook f5 was better. Shut up and dance with me. Set. Ooh, ooh. Okay, but this must be winning, surely. I just trade.
Thank you, Bridgewa, for the gifted sub. Blow, and she said. Let's shut up and dance with me. Okay, I, I can take, I can also play check. I think I'll just take, take the two bishops. Um, of course he checks. Um, I think I'm going to play g3. I'm going to Fion Keto my bishop here. Just castles. If e5, I think I have bishop g5, bishop e3. I think I'll play bishop e3 and h3 maybe. I actually don't like my position this game again. Maybe I'll play b4, b5 ideas. b5 is always an idea. Maybe queen b3, queen b2 now. I think I'm going to try to put the rooks on c1 and d1. Thank you to Knight B3 for the 1,000 bits. Thank you so much. Now, I do have C4 ideas here. Um, I think I'm just going to play Queen B2. Now I've got B5. I still really want to play C4. I'm going to play A4. Maybe A5, B5 ideas. Maybe C4 here. Can't quite make C4 work. G4 is insane. Don't like my position here. I'm gonna play. There are issues. There are issues, my friends. There are some problems. I'm play g4. Of course, this game I'm moving. This is the game where I'm now moving too slowly. I'm just gonna play bishop f1. Not not very pretty, but whatever. Just just play. Try to defend and see what you can make out of it. I'll take with the bishop. Oh, I blundered knight e3. Oh my gosh, I just blundered knight e3 because he has knight e3 back. He's also got queen h3, which I completely just forgot about. Did I go king g1? No, I just I blundered knight e3 completely. I'm way down on the clock too, so I actually don't know why I'm not just resigning this one, but we'll just try to play on. Queen c5, try to trade and put the bishop on b6. And I'm gonna take this pawn. This is still good for black, but it's not simple. If he takes, I take on d5. Ah, this is a nice touch by Jan. Wait, but I have bishop c4, actually. Not so easy. Wait. I can... Um, I don't know which is right. I'm going to guess this is right, but I'm not sure. So I get the pawn to a7.
Should have played Bishop F2 at the start. This is kind of insane. Oh, I just blundered. I blundered rook a4. Oh my gosh, I was so close to drawing this one. Yeah, I was so close to drawing this one. I blundered that pawn. So stupid. Ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Okay, whatever. Let's just play solid. I should not have lost that game, but... I could not go king h... Oh, you're right. I could have gone king h3. Oh, you're right, I could have gone king h3. You're absolutely right. Oh, you're right. I could have gone king h3. I forgot that I could go king h3. You're right, I could have gone bishop. Oh, I could have gone king h3. That was insane. Okay, now I'm going to play bishop c8, which is the correct move, of course. Now he can't take, so I take, 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 bishop d5, knight e5. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I should not have missed that. Now I can play like knight b6 here. Or I can play h6. No, h6, he plays knight e5? No, he... Oh, did I just wonder brilliancy? I might have blundered a brilliancy. So I go knight a5. Rook h4 takes. Rook h4, knight c4 looks fine, bishop d5, c6. I think I'm actually better here, but I could be wrong. Takes, I take. But I guess he plays rookie five. But now I'm just up, to, I'm up material. His queen is also trapped, he has to trade. And then he loses. Bishop b4. I'm up two pieces here, so. Of course, Nepo's so low that I'm looking at the scores. I have to beat him by 2-1 to one to not lose rating points, which is actually just absurd, honestly. Having to beat Nepo by a 2-1 to one margin is just not going to happen. Place F5, I don't... Understand it. I'll just play C3. I think I'm going to play Bishop G3 here to force him to decide what he wants to do. Plays Knight F6. I'll play Queen C2. I'm going to play E4, E5 if he gives me the chance. And I'm also going to go long here. Definitely I'm playing E4, E5. No doubt now. 
Okay, now I'm all in. F4, E5, and I take G6. Okay, we trade. This B5 looks bad because there are all kinds of diag issues now for black. I play rook E1. I can also just take, but I'll play rook H1. Looks logical enough. This looks suspect to me. I don't really believe in this for black. This looks very suspect. Okay, takes, I take. Queen F7, so I can take. Obviously, I can't take the rooks. I hang the queen. I think just king B1 looks fine. Maybe knight H4, actually. Actually, yeah, knight H4 looks good to hit the bishop. Force him to decide if he wants to take. Then, then both his pawns are super, super weak here on E6 and G6. I'll take with the queen. I'll pre-move queen e4 because he probably will do something like that. Plays d5. Oh, wait, if I... Wait. Okay, if I take... Takes bishop f3 and I have bishop h5 and bishop h4. Thank you, knight b3 for the 1000 bits. No offense to any other mods, but this is the best swordsman on Twitch. Thank you so much. Okay, so he takes, so we go bishop f3. Takes. Which one do I take? I guess, I mean, I you automatically assume you take with the h-pawn always, but I don't know. He plays rookie and offers a draw. Now that's interesting. Um, that means he's not happy with his position. So no draw, my friend, no draw. Oh, I should have gone to e2. That was a mistake. I should have gone to e2. That was very poor. Um, I guess I'll play rook e3, takes an e4. Yeah, I misplayed this. I should have gone to... Um... Okay, I'll go back to e2. If he takes, I take. Now I get bishop d3. He can't take, obviously, because g6 hangs. Put some pressure on the pawn. We'll play a4 here. Try to soften up the queen side a little bit, maybe... Uh, I think I can play g3, because if queen f3, I can take and play queen d3. And also just move my king as well. Could have played king a2 first as well. He takes, wow, okay. That was not something I expected. Okay, so I guess I take? What's he wants queen f wait, queen f2, I take. A little bit surprising because queen f3, I also have bishop c2. What was that? That's just weird, okay. I mean rookie six is playable, but I still play queen a6 and white's better, so I I don't understand the whole thing. Very weird. Okay, he keeps wanting to do this little... He wants to keep... He keeps wanting... Oh, no, he plays knight c3. He plays a different line. Sorry. I thought he was doing the same line again, but he's not. Um, I think knight f6 is playable here. As is knight c3, of course. can take and play bishop d6. Um, I can also take and play rook e8. Is bishop e6 a move here? I think it is a move. Plays knight g5. So wait, if I take, he goes queen h... Oh, queen h5? H6, knight, E6. Whoa, this is sharp. I don't know what's going on here. Let's go for this. Uh, Bishop F5, I can't play. I do have, No, Bishop F2 is no good. I take, and I play King H8. Because, but I take and go Queen H4. It's just losing for white. Mm. 
Get the stress out. Mmm. Mmm. How about them apples? Okay, we'll play one more, you guys. Make it an even six. Uh, let's play one more game. Plays. Um, okay. Let's play Night C3. I don't care about 3250, guys. I'm, I'm just playing good. I'm just trying to play chess. Let's play rookie two. Plays knight f6. Um, I'll just take him Fionn Keto. Actually, I'll play g3 first. I don't want him getting bishop f4 playing for a draw. Let's go d4. I've got d5 next move, maybe. If I play d5, he plays d6. Is this bad or something? Yeah, it's probably not ideal. Okay, let's just play rook e3, idea bishop d3, rook f3. I have rook f3 here. Bishop g4. Tricky, tricky. Maybe queen f... Actually, what about queen f3 here takes? Like Lady Godiva. Oh, 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 oh. Now I'm clearly better, bad pawns. Definitely no draw. Um. So Rook B3 hit the pawn. Rook d4, just bishop e3, and takes. But don't stop me now. <laughs> now I could also play f3 here. Yeah, let's play f3 to kick the rook. If takes bishop e3, he loses all his pawns. Oh, 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 explode. I think I'll just play bishop e3 and king f2 here. Actually, now he plays a5, which I think is a mistake, because now I'm going to target the a pawn, no b5 ideas either. So he's trying to play h5, h4. Let's play rook e1. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I feel like I'm I'm better, but I need to play as precise. Let's play rookie two. Let's see, how do I do this? Maybe just king f2. Hmm. Guess I'll take. I think I'm gonna try to run my king up this way, actually. Hmm. Like, king g2 is what I want to do. I can't do that, though. I guess I have to take. Yeah, this is just going to be a draw. Although, wait, I've actually put my pawns on the wrong colors here. Wait a second. I put my pawns on the wrong colors, I'm realizing. Wait, this is not actually quite so obvious. I have to be careful here. Okay, I have to play b3. Is that a slip? That's... Is that a slip or is that an actual move? 
I don't know. Is that a slip or is that his move? I mean... I don't know if that was a slip or not. Was that a slip or he miscalculated this a2 bishop f6 d4 line? I think he thought he was actually a genius with d4, a2, king b2, d4, king a2, d3, but he loses by one tempo. He loses by one tempo here. Like, I don't think that was a slip. Or did he mean, mean to take? But even takes, takes is not so clear cut. And now I just go king d3 and bishop f6 and it's game over. But I think what Nepo, assuming that was a slip, it still was not clear cut. This wasn't clearly winning. Like, even if you take and play a2, I have this bishop f6 trick and bishop a3, I take queen and I have check and I take your queen. Um, thank you, Bridgewa, for the gifted sub to Tipsy Ton. So it's actually not clean because I'm going d5 next move, activate the diagonal, and I'm going to win both your pawns. So, like, even king b2, king b6, I go d5 and the diag is activated. Um... And of course, if you don't go a2, I go king b3 anyway. So it's not quite so clear cut. Thank you, Chess Bay, for getting a sub to LA Chess ISQ. Like, I assume, assuming he slipped, which I'm not at all sure that he did. Um, I play this. Even bishop b4, I still take because on queen I go d5. So this is still not clear cut. I mean, because takes, takes, if you don't go a2, king b3, white's better. And after bishop f6, I don't see a good move for black here. But, I don't know. Thank you to knight b3 for the 1,000 bits in Bruja, we trust. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. I don't know if he slipped, though, because you can make the... I'm not convinced that was a slip. Because there's also this, this very pretty tactic idea, like d4, and you just win. Because bishop f6, a2, king b2, d3... King a2 and d2. So it's not actually so simple. Like, that's why I'm not sure it was a slip. I think he maybe miscalculated this whole line. Um, perhaps. Because I also go bishop f6. And like a2 I can take. I don't have to go king b2. So I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think that was actually for sure a slip. Because if you're a genius and you see this move, like, how, do, how does white stop both pawns with the bishop cut by the diagonal? Um, so I'm not 100% sure there. Thank you, Matt Smith, 928 for the two months. Uh, much appreciated. I'm not convinced that that was a slip. That's also a big part of the reason I didn't just take his draw. Yeah, but the thing is, bishop f6, king c5, I go king d3. And now I just take and I go bishop a1 at the end anyway, and it's winning. That's why, I mean, but how do you, I don't really know how you slip bishop, c, how, how you can slip bishop c5. Like, you grab the bishop instead of the pawn. I mean, I, I find it hard to believe that that was a slip because you see this d4, it's like, okay, I'm getting this brilliance in winning. So, I don't know. I'm not sure it was a slip.